Hello guys, welcome to the first video on JavaScript tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn what is JavaScript and how does it work. And if the time permits, we will also see how we can write our first JavaScript code. So first of all, what is JavaScript? JavaScript is a high level, dynamic, untyped and interpreted programming language. And alongside HTML and CSS, it is one of the three most essential technologies of World Wide Web content production. Now, if you are using HTML and CSS, most probably you are generating only static pages for your website. And what is static? Static means there is no interactivity in your web page. You can only uh, produce text, images, tables, and frames, but there is no interactivity involved in your web page. Now, JavaScript is just for that. So JavaScript allows you to add interactivity with your web page. So for example, you want to uh, add a user and you want the user to log in to your website before accessing your content. So this can be added through JavaScript, right? Or you can use JavaScript to manipulate the actions of the user. For example, he clicks something and he wants to calculate the values of something. For example, addition of two numbers, you can do it with JavaScript very easily. Now, if you're thinking JavaScript is a very difficult language to learn, it's not. It's really easy to learn. And it was developed by Net Netscape first, okay? Now, what is the meaning of interactivity? I will show you by example. So, for example, I have this temperature converter. Let's see on the actual web page how it looks like. So this is a temperature converter, right? Now, all this is right now HTML and CSS. And for example, I want to convert a Celsius value into a Fahrenheit and Kelvin. I need to use JavaScript or in fact, I'm using JavaScript in this web page to calculate these values for So for example, I add five degrees Celsius here and I want to calculate the respective value of uh, Fahrenheit and Kelvin. I can just click this convert button and JavaScript does it magic and it converts it and it shows it here. So this is the magic of JavaScript. Okay. Now, not only JavaScript calculates something, but it improves the appearance of your web page, especially if you are using graphics or visual feedback. It can also make your site navigation easier and interactive. And as I already said that it can perform calculations and validation. Validation means just, for example, login page of your website, right? So how does it work it can be embedded into your html page so you can directly embed script element into your html uh, code and you can use javascript otherwise you can create a javascript file and add it into your html page okay now javascript is executed on the client side so it's fast and once it's loaded, no connection is needed from the server to execute or to make it work, okay? Now, it uses simple programming statement combined with HTML tag. And as I already said, it's an interpreted language. Now, there are two type of languages. One is a compiled language and other is a interpreted language. Compiled language is a one when you compile it first and create a binary of it. And when you execute this binary, it'll work. But the interpreted means, for example, JavaScript is a interpreted language. So we don't need to compile it, but it can be used directly on the browser and it can be interpreted by the browser. So you can say browser interprets it and if it's valid, then it will be shown to the user, right? 
Now, some people think that Java and JavaScript are almost same, but they are not. Java and JavaScript are totally different languages. Okay, so for example, what is Java? Java is a full programming language, which is much harder to learn. And it's a compiled language and it's independent of web. So you can use Java with web technologies, but it's not necessary that you have to use web technologies with Java. It can, you know, do its stuff on its own without any web technology, right? On the other hand, JavaScript is an interpreted language which has its own syntax. And what we need to uh, code JavaScript, one is the text editor and other is the browser. Okay, so you can choose any browser of your choice and the text editor, for example, you can use Notepad or WordPad, which comes with Windows or you can use Notepad++, which is a little bit more advanced version of Notepad. Or you can use some IDE like Eclipse or NetBeans or IntelliJ IDEA or there are many IDEs. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment which you can use to code JavaScript. Okay. Now, if you want to learn JavaScript, most probably you need to revise your HTML skills, right? So because we use JavaScript mostly with HTML, so you need to have some idea of HTML also. Okay. Now this is a small example of a JavaScript code. So you have HTML and you can add JavaScript code inside this HTML page. So let's see how we can do it. So I have this sample HTML code and for example, I want to add this uh, JavaScript code inside it. What I can do here is I can add a script tag here and just add this type is equal to text slash JavaScript. So it knows which type of language it is, which is JavaScript, right? And in here, to, uh, for example, I want to print something on the web page, I can use document dot write. So document dot write and here I can just write, for example, hello world and don't forget to give the semicolon here and I will save it and I will go to the web page on which I want to execute it and refresh my web page and it so shows hello world. Okay. Now, for example, I want to add some HTML tags inside this document, I can do it easily. Just add, for example, h1 tag at the start and ending tag at the last, which is same and save your code and refresh your web page and it's showing it in the h1 tags. Okay, so you can use JavaScript like this. Now we will learn more how we can use JavaScript and how we can, uh, you know, create interactive web pages using JavaScript in the further videos. So stay tuned and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.